from this to that. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this DIY hummingbird feeder made out of recyclable materials. For this project, you will need a clear glass bottle with a twist off cap, two pop cans, a permanent marker, a 1 8 drill bit, metal cutters, or an old pair of scissors, some adhesive of some sort, red and yellow paint, a clear sealer, household electrical wire to pull some copper out of it, some wire cutters, and safety glasses for drilling through the aluminum cans. Start by drilling two similar sized holes, one in the top of the twist cap and one in the bottom of an aluminum can. Using the marker, draw a line around each can approximately one inch from the bottom. Carefully cut the top off of both cans. We don't need those. We are going to use the body of the can for the flowers and the base of the cans for the water reservoir. It's important to be careful when doing this step because aluminum can be sharp. Take the bottom with the hole in it and mark three dots evenly spaced around the can. Cut a small slit in the side. This will allow the bottom of this can to slide into the bottom of the other can, creating the water reservoir. Once connected, place your adhesive around the joint to seal it. Glue the twist cap to the top of the water reservoir, lining up the two holes we drilled at the beginning. Take the body of one of the cans and draw three flowers. Carefully cut them out. Drill three holes in the water reservoir on the dots we marked earlier. Paint the flowers yellow and the water reservoir red. Be sure to paint both sides of the flowers. Using acrylic paint, it took several coats to cover the print on the aluminum can. If you have spray paint, this step would go a lot faster, but I didn't have any red and yellow spray paint and I wanted to make this at zero cost entirely from things I had around my house. Once the paint dried completely, I sprayed the flowers and water reservoir with a clear sealer. I stuffed paper towel in the cap to avoid getting sealer in the grooves of the cap. Allow the sealer to completely dry before using the 1 8 drill bit to drill holes in the center of each flower. Place a piece of wood under the flowers to not damage your working surface. Carefully glue each flower onto the water reservoir in line with the holes. To hang it, I strip some household electrical wire and use the copper wire to wrap around the bottle. You can use metal coat hangers, rope, or really whatever you'd like for this step. Once that is done, just twist the bottle into the cap and then you have your very own DIY hummingbird feeder.